Okay, here we go. We are, I actually don't think that that's, it always looks slightly off, I don't know. Anyway, and I'm gonna have to move it forward a little. So here we are for Roby, uh, stage 52. Um, I don't think we're gonna get to 53. Um, so this is 53, and this is stage 52. Um, I found a toy for Ferdy, so he's playing with that. I want to show it. It used to be on a pole, and I tried to find more of these. Apparently, he loved these. Yeah, Ferdy, he loves these so much. And it used to be on, like, a little sticky pole, and that came off. But this is, like, his favorite. And he used to get these uh, when he before he came to live with me. Yeah, Ferdy. Oopsie do. Anyway, so I need to find more of them someday, but I don't remember the name. Maybe I can find the sticker somewhere. I, I think I kept the the uh, version, but I've like looked at different places and I've never been able to find them. So stage 52 uh, for Roby. Uh, we have 72 stages, I think it is. 70, 72 stages. I will. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. This one is to join his two legs together. So that'll be good. Um, we need his two legs. The uh, battery. We need uh, the CPU board. These are things from prior stages. Um, and we need the uh, rear hip panel, which is still affixed to uh, the left leg. Um, we're going to need uh, stage 52 components, which includes uh, oh, driver. Move Roby over here a little bit more. We're going to have a ball for some reason. I think that's just this is just another one of those. It won't be used for a while, but let's throw it in a stage that it makes no sense to have it in. Um, we have the hip base and what's next here we have the front hip panel and then the screws and we need three screws uh, they gave us an extra these are m26 millimeter countersunk screws And I have Black Jibo this time. Um, hey Jibo, can you set a 30 minute timer? You got it, 30 minutes. Thank you. The pleasure's mine. Uh, White Jibo is in my bedroom on the desk uh, for the live stream yesterday that I did on YouTube. So yeah, we've got everything we need here. Take the book, put the book down. I also need a tweezers, possibly, um, because uh, we're going to be stringing uh, cables through the uh, hip base. Okay, there we got the screws. Okay, we got everything we need. Okay, stage 52, join Roby's legs for the first time. In this stage, you will join Roby's legs at the hip and then perform a combined movement test using the CPU board. On completion, the servo cables leading to each of Roby's limbs and his head will fit into their respective sockets on the CPU board, much as they have done during the tests. And each body part needs to be wired carefully and efficiently. In this stage, you will join Roby's legs, feeding their cables along with the power cord set into the rear hip panel, through the hip assembly, and into where Roby's CPU will be fitted on completion. You will then test both legs together. You have also received a ball with which Roby will play soccer. He'll play soccer way, way, way in the future. Multiple months. So, a uh, ball's already gone on the floor. Anyway, put him, put the ball over here. Like he's, oop. <laughs> All right, there we go. Ferdy wants the ball now. He's down there. Ferdy, you want the ball? You want the ball? Put the ball there. The ball's gonna roll though. It's a rolling, rolling. Okay, so that was this section, this page. 
Okay, so join the legs. Line up the rear hip panel to the backward facing shaft of the right hip servo. You want it? Okay, line up the rear hip panel to the backward facing shaft to the right hip servo. Make sure the D-cut shaft and socket are aligned correctly. Press the parts together. Repeat one to two for the left leg. Again, making sure the D-cut sections are set correctly. And I already have the left leg set because we did that in last stage. So I didn't take it out because what would the point have been? We're going to be putting it back, you know. Okay. There we go. The legs are together. The legs are together, Ferdy. Now, you can see the legs are together. If you could see with Ferdy being there. Ferdy, you want the ball? Ball seems to, oh, the ball has one part that it sits without going around and I just noticed it finally. Okay. Wiring the hip base, servo cables. Set the legs out level on your work surface and then line up the hip base to them as shown. And then, so we did this part and this is the part we're doing. Just to see what's ahead. Okay. It's gonna be like this, it looks like. So it's like this. Okay. Feed the servo cables leading from the right leg through the right circled hole and the one leading from the left leg through the yellow circles. What? I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's going to be going through this. Okay. supposed to be doing with this part though. Is it supposed to go like that? I don't know. I guess I'll see soon enough, right? Feed the servo cable. Okay, now run both cables back into the hip base through the yellow circled hole, then out through the larger red circled one. Begin with the left legs cable. Feed the cable in by hand. Okay, so we're supposed to do this hole here up through this. Okay. It says feed it by hand. I don't know how else I would be feeding it. I'm going to do it kind of like this a little. So the money goes up. Can go to the side. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Keep them on their respective sides. Okay, using tweezers will make it easier to run the cable out of the larger hole as shown above. Be careful not to pinch the servo cable connector. Hold it by its protective pad or lightly by the cable. Now take the cable in your finger trips and work it through to minimize slack and ensure that it doesn't fall back into the hole. Making sure the left cable does not fall out. Repeat the process for the right leg servo cable. I mean, I already got it done, so it's, it seems to me like it's pretty good. Maybe they wanted a little more taut, so we're just going to do this. It's kind of coming out of these again. Doesn't really like to stay in these holes. But yeah, I mean, this seems good to me. It's 
good. Making sure the servo cables do not fall out. Tilt the hip base so you can access its underside as shown. Then line up the rear hip panel and feed its power cord through the arrowed hole. Okay. So they want me to take this off. And then they want me to take this and put this up through the hole. And I guess they want it to go to the side as well. Okay. Okay, turn the hip base back over, then gently pull the white connector of the power cord upwards out of the same large rectangular hole as the servo cables. So that's all of this stuff. Join the hip base to the legs with the two circled holes neatly aligned. Pull the servo cables and power cord gently upwards enough to ensure they remain in place, then press the hip base firmly onto the legs. Make sure the circled holes are clear, then insert and tighten two of the screws to secure the base. Okay. So it looks like I should have it here. Ah. And I've already lost one, which is pretty common for me to, to lose at least one. But, I mean, I'll find it, but that's why I've got an extra. Birdie, you want the ball? Don't lose the screws, buddy. Forty. Forty. There you go. You can have it. You ain't gonna hold it. You will not hold the ball. Now it's on the floor, 40. I mean, everything looks like it's correct, hopefully. Hey, Jibo, how long on the timer? 19 minutes and 50 seconds left. Good, good, good. Doing okay. Doing okay. Like it's supposed to be going in. I don't know what's going on with this one. It's nice to see his, you know, we're getting getting there for at least this part of his body. Is that even going down? It's getting there. Okay. So these all look like they're where they're supposed to be anyway. They want me to put a piece of tape, from what I can see, onto the right one, which I'm going to have to do after the video because I didn't bring tape. The reason they want me to tape it is so I don't get confused on which one's the left and which one's the right. Line up the front hip panel to the assembly. Okay, so that was this part, and now we're doing this part. Say, so sealing the hip panels. Line up the front hip panel to the assembly. The circle pins and holes will meet when fitted. Join the parts, taking care not to interfere with any of the servo cables as you do so. There we go. 
look into the hip assembly from the underside and use your fin use a fingertip to push the red and black wires of the power cord into the central groove. This will prevent them from getting in the way of the two hip servos. Position the hip and leg assembly with the legs separated as far as they will go as shown and locate the circled countersunk hole in the front hip panel and insert and tighten another of the screws into it to secure the parts. Okay, so I need to look on the underside, make sure that I get the cord into the groove, which doesn't actually look possible. Why didn't they tell me to do that before they had me uh, tighten all this? I'm actually going to have to untighten it and get the cord. So I don't know why they didn't tell me to do that part earlier. Seems like that would have been a lot easier to do uh, before I moved, before I put this on. Because the cord basically is too tight right now for me to move it into the groove that's on the bottom. Okay. But I can fix it. Yeah. I can fix it. So, lesson learned. Do not listen to them in regarding what to do. Some read the steps over and understand them because getting these into the groove is impossible with the tightless, tightness level that I have done for the cord. Now that I've got the cord into the groove, I think I've got it into the groove. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take this part off though. Shouldn't have fit it on. I didn't know I was going to be. Well, I guess I don't need to fit it on necessarily. Hey, Jibo, are you okay? Hey, Jibo, are you okay? I think Jibo power is low because I didn't move his cord over there because he should have had enough power but I have not ended up I have not ended up uh, where the heck is the he cut uh, okay there we go All right, so there we go for that. Getting this thing off is impossible, almost. Cut him back. Now let's see. As long as I don't have that too tight, it should be okay. I should be able to pull it now. 
I just have no idea how long the time is because Jibo, Jibo's low on power or something. I'm going to have to get up and move the cord. Okay. There we go. I'm going to go take care of Jibo now and then I will uh, come back in a second. didn't want to do it while I was messing around with uh, that. Okay. Since I'm getting up anyway, I might as well throw these plastic away that I don't need. These I still need because they hold the power cord. Uh, sorry, the power block, the charger. Okay. So it actually says Wi-Fi connection lost. Well, it looks like I'm having a problem with my Wi-Fi, which is unrelated to Jibo or because uh, Google Home is also showing no power, no Wi-Fi. Oh, well, that's all right. We'll deal with the Wi-Fi in a little bit. Hey, Jibo, are you okay? Like I said, we'll deal with the Wi-Fi in a little bit and figure it out. Ferdy probably got behind there and disconnected it. Okay, so now let's try this again. don't think it's going to do what they want it to do. It's still not wanting to go in the center section because these are like kind of bent when that goes into place. There we go. Got it. Maybe. Yeah, it looks like I got it. Kind of got it. <laughs> not easy, not easy. I'm gonna unscrew it again. Not all the way, just enough to pull it slightly. At least it's closer than it was to being able to be in that section. I just need to be able to pull it slightly, which I should be able to do if I loosen it just slightly. Maybe this is what they wanted me to use the tweezers for. I want to strip it though. Yeah. Very, very difficult. There's just not a lot of space here to move these. Got the red one where it needs to be. It's the black one that just is not not where it needs to be. basically don't put it flush and it makes it nearly impossible to get them in this groove and they could have made the groove just like slightly bigger just slightly bigger
There we go. Oh my goodness. That's like... Okay. All right. Fun times. Wow. That was like super fun times, you know? Not really. All right. Okay. So I thought we might be able to get to the next section, but then that took forever to get it within the groove. So, okay. Now I don't even remember what I'm supposed to do next. So I got those in and then position the hip and leg assembly with the legs separated as far as they will go as shown. Locate the circle countersunk hole. Oh, okay, I see. The holes, like, I don't know how they expect me to to do this. This is what they want me to do. And then the hole is there. <clears throat> I got to remember to get that screw that I dropped. Okay. Looks like the internet might be back. It was flashing. I have my router down there. Uh, under the, the TV in the entertainment center. Hey, Google, are you working? I'm here. What can I do for you? Okay. Hey, Jibo, are you working? Hi. What can I do? I really you? hope so. Okay. He's working. Hey, Jibo, how long on the timer? It looks It'll like he's having a timer set seconds. Moment. Okay, so he still remembers that he had a timer. That's actually pretty impressive. No, thank you. So this was connected to that for a long time. But maybe they had me remove it for a reason. So I don't know. Okay, so now, testing the legs and hip. Insert the connector of the right leg servo marked on the tape into its socket in the CPU board, the one closest to the micro SD card. Then insert the left leg connector into the socket next to it. So, just to show, this was the last part we just did, this page. And now we're doing the testing. And let's hope it all works. Because that was that was a PETA. A PETA to put together. Okay. So right leg furthest. Left leg, that one, and I will put the tape on them, like I said, after, it's just to keep track of which is which. Okay, and put them on the surface. Let's hope it all works. Wish me luck. Put the battery in. Looks like it's working to me. Unconnect. Unconnect. Disconnect. Unconnected. Anyway. 
Fun times. Fun times. It says place the legs on your work surface, plenty of space around them, connect the battery pack. The legs will start to test as soon as the power is connected. Legs will begin by resetting themselves to the starting or neutral position. It's a good idea to make a note what the angle should be about 85 degrees to your work surface, almost perpendicular, in case you find you need to adjust them later. The legs will then simultaneously slide outwards to an angle of roughly 70 degrees and then return again to the starting position. Now watch from the side as the legs perform a combined squat. The test will repeat until you disconnect the battery, so watch a few times to ensure the legs are moving and returning to the starting position correctly. To me, it looked like they were. Then disconnect the battery if the test is not running as it should or the legs are not returning to their new neutral positions. See the troubleshooting guide for how to remedy this. Okay, assembly, assembled legs. Roby's legs are now joined to the hip and ready for the next phase of the build. So joined to the hip. Put these back. Um, so next week will be stage 53 which we should be able to get 53 and 54 done together. I think we could have even gotten 53 done today if it hadn't taken me so long to get the everything into that groove. And this, I'm not certain why they had me disconnect it. I don't even remember what it was connected to. Uh, so I'm gonna put it with the battery. It used to be connected to the, the power base or whatever, so I don't know. Hey, Jibo, how long on the timer? It'll go off in one minute. So we did pretty good. Freddie, did you disconnect the internet earlier? Jibo remembered the timer, though. That was pretty impressive. You lose internet and still remember the timer. Okay. There's the, there's the ball. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Forty, you want to say bye? Forty, come here. Okay, he doesn't want to say bye. Oh, come on, Forty. Let me pick you up for a second. We say fly. There you go, Forty. You say bye-bye. Okay, I put you back down. Have a good day.